Hey guys, just a quick video here today. As the uh, title suggests, is it safe to purchase knives from a foreign country online? And um, I noticed uh, as I'm as I'm acquiring these knives, um, there's not a lot of interest in them. Uh, I've never really had a problem getting a knife I wanted to get, and I think there's a real reluctance. Uh, for people to um, buy from a foreign country. And um, I think that stems from a couple things. Uh, one, is it safe? And two, the high shipping costs on it. And so I'm going to speak to that to you. Every, all these knives here are different patterns, not the ones in the background. All the ones up front are different patterns, different manufacturers. Uh, but what they have in common is I bought them all from a foreign country. So, um, I've been doing that for years. I've never had any problems whatsoever doing it. And, um, I, I would encourage you guys to do the same thing. And, um, the question is, why would you pay $25, uh, or $25 in shipping costs to, uh, get a knife from a foreign country when you could pay $5 in the United States or free shipping? Um, so here's the reason. These two knives I bought from the same um, uh, seller out of Switzerland. Um, this is a Robert Class knife, and this is a, a Hen and Rooster, both uh, hefted in um, uh, genuine um, uh, horn. And so um, these knives are uncommon, and um, even though they're a common pattern, uh, this is atypical for the knives that you would see in the United States from Hen and Rooster or uh, Robert Class. And that's because these were not meant for uh, foreign uh, sale. They're, they don't have Germany on them. And so they were produced in Germany for uh, the domestic market. And so this knife was $21. This knife was $21. So I spent $42 on the knife. It was um, uh, $21 in shipping. So that's a total of $63 for both of these knives. And either one of these knives would have run between $80 and $100 in the United States. Um, these things are, by the way, in near mint condition. So if you look at them, they're just pristine. And they would go for high dollar in the United States. And... Um, the point is, even with the $25, I got a deal on these knives. You know, um, $20 for these knives. Um, uh, I paid less than I would have paid for one knife in the United States with the shipping cost. So the shipping cost, that's kind of what you got to think about. Is, is Does it make sense in relation to the total value of the knife that you're buying? And if it does, then, um, you know, get it. Um, the other thing is unusual patterns. So um, in the case of Robert Class and Hen and Rooster, there's a type of knife that they produce for the American market, and that's what you see in the American market. But there are other kinds of knives that you don't typically see in the American market. This knife is from France and was shipped from France, and it's just phenomenal. It's a gravity knife. It has intricate pen work in it there's a thousand pens and little pens in this knife that doesn't uh count the brass pens and the copper pens and then it's inset in mother of pearl and um just a a really really cool knife and this is a really old knife and you just don't find this stuff in the united states so um this knife didn't break the bank either i got uh this knife for a really reasonable price and um this knife here, um, which I cut myself, it's not easy to open all these blades, by the way. You can see the boo-boo there. <laughs> you know, making these videos is dangerous, guys. You know, I, I sacrifice for you. Yeah. Um, but this is a 16-blade uh, quill knife. Uh, really unusual, you know, scallops, scallop liners, scalloped ends. 
and um, just a fantastic example of a uh, early uh, quill knife, extravagant one. And, um, you know, uh, I can tell you I got this for a phenomenal price. And uh, in the United States, you, you'd pay an arm and a leg to get something like this. If you could even get it, yeah, uh, you'd have to have deep pockets to be sure to get that in an auction. Somebody else is going to snatch that up. But um, I bought it uh, from Italy and uh, had no problem getting it. And um, so that's why you, you purchase knives from overseas. Um, I have seen this knife on the uh, on the internet in America, but you don't see it too often. I got this from South Africa, and um, I got it because of the unusual uh, uh, artwork on it. Um, I was able to find a newer version of this, and they did paint them. So the, the when the knife was new, the leaves were green and the corn cob, the corn was yellow. Um, but I got this knife for a really reasonable price out of uh, South Africa. And um, I'd only seen it a couple times in the United States in the past eight years. So um, that's why you, you might want to uh, purchase a knife from a foreign uh, person. Um, I, I bought this from uh, Russia. It's a Russian knife. And um, you can see right there. It's upside down. There you go. Um, and I just wanted an example of a Russian knife. And um, they're not really well made, just so you know. Um, but I mean... I got it out of Russia. I didn't have no problem. I got this one from the Ukraine. I got this one from uh, Czechoslovakia. Uh, this one came from uh, uh, Israel. Pretty cool little knife. Sterling silver. So the, the, the uh, scales are sterling silver on that knife. This knife is from uh, um, India. So I've just, I've never had any problem with these knives. I think it's perfectly safe. Um, one, one caution I would give to you, if you're going to do it, I would use eBay. And um, so eBay guarantees a sale if you did have a problem, uh, which is, that's another main concern besides the um, shipping costs is, hey, I don't know this person, but the truth is you don't know anybody. And so, um eBay uh, polices itself really well. If somebody does commit fraud, eBay is going to uh, rip them off, rip them out of the uh, lineup, and uh, not allow them to sell on eBay. So they monitor sellers very close for for things like fraud. And um, if you bought a knife on eBay and it didn't come to you, eBay would reimburse the cost. So I actually never had that problem and I buy a lot of stuff I used to be a trucker so it's pretty much the only way I could get knives is, is buying them off the internet um, so um, I think it's safe for you to do I would use eBay um, uh, or maybe you have an internet source you trust and you like and maybe they guarantee the purchase but I've never had any trouble um, you know, with, with my overseas purchases. Uh, one other cautionary note, uh, they are subject to do, to duties, but I've never had to pay a duty on a knife like this. So usually the duties kick in uh, after $300. And the time that the United States would place a duty on a knife, if they think that the knife was um, uh, not, uh, for instance, if this knife was worth five thousand dollars and the guy put the value of the knife as thirty dollars you know then the united states may assess a duty on it but i've never had any of my knives that came in from overseas not one have ever been charged a duty fee on them and so if you're buying regular pocket knives like this you know you're not going to have any problem uh, but you, you you know you should look at those policies and be aware of them before you start buying overseas and uh, I hope you found it informative, and I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you're able to find some terrific knives uh, overseas.
because I certainly have. And um, thanks for watching the video, guys.